cuties welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is diva and you're watching the dangerous diva on youtube please like and subscribe um but today i wanted to show you guys disney's new dreamlight valley avatar creation tool so the game itself is dropping tomorrow tuesday september 6 but the avatar creation tool is a standalone thing that's completely free of course, I'll have the link down below for you in the description. But, guys, this tool is amazing. And even if you don't plan to buy the game and play it, I still think it's super fun to create an adorable character in here. So today I'm going to take you along with me creating my own character for the game. Because, yes, I will be buying this game. And we'll kind of go through all the options and features and uh, talk about just how amazing this tool is. So to get started, I'm working on the facial features, of course. They have a lot of great options for that, and these eyelashes, girl, are on point. And um, I'm just putzing around with a lot of different options to see which lashes felt the most like me. They do have some subtle lashes, and then they do have some gorgeous ones as well, but I really liked these separated like twiggy eyelashes from like the 60s and then um now i'm playing with the eyeshadow lots of colors to choose here also lower below you'll see there's also an opacity bar so if you're more like me where you like more of the natural makeup you can turn the opacity down if you want to be like full beat glam you can turn that opacity all the way up and then aside from just the opacity bar, you can also change different shapes of eyeshadow, which you can see down below that bar. So there's really a lot of customization options for the makeup, which is really, really nice. And to see a game have that out of the gate and kind of know how important that is to us people who love to create characters. Um, it was a great addition and this game by the way is only just going to be in early access so what you see here is not um, the final rendition of the create a tool create an avatar tool and they may be adding a lot more down the road i know there's going to be microtransactions with the ability to buy things and then if you do pick one of the packages and pre-order for the early access game there are some freebies thrown in um so i'm feeling pretty good here with the neutral brown eye and these twiggy lashes and so i think we'll move on to the um eye color I personally have darker blue eyes and I was debating between that and lighter but I picked kind of these denim blue and now we're on to the brows I did like the one she had naturally um, but of course me being the curious being that I am wanted to go through and look through all of the options they have and if you wanted to you could do super colorful brows and pretty much pretty much the sky is the limit in this game guys as far as how you want your character to look so i'm just going to try in a few other brows here see what kind of fits my face shape the best and see which one i'm feeling the most so they have everything from big luscious eyebrows to really small non-existent ones they have the thin over plucked like mine are in real life because i was a 90s baby and definitely over plucked and um feel like i'm kind of feeling these I was torn between the current ones and the ones I just had on, but I, if I remember correctly, I think I picked the other one. Let's see. I actually filmed, I actually created the character last night super late and was going to do a voiceover as I was creating it, um, but ultimately decided that a voiceover would probably be better because it was super late at night and I was super tired. Alright, so same with the makeup, you have an opacity slider for the brows. And let's move on to the nose. I just want a cute little button nose. I wish I had that in real life. <laughs> um, genetics weren't nice to me with the real nose, but hey, on my avatar, we gotta make it cute. We gotta make it cute. But there are a lot of different options here too. And um, yeah, let's move on to the mouth. 
So the mouths were the one thing to me that I thought was a little bit, uh, looked weird, I guess you could say. They don't look bad per se, but I had a hard time finding the one I felt was truly right for me and my character. I actually ultimately ended up going back to that smile with the teeth. I don't know, there was something I think just about the way the mouth is pulled up. I didn't love and I think with lipstick on in a different lip color it does look a little bit better but I do end up going with the toothy smile which is actually super cute and you're able to do lipstick here so the color and then the other one is the lip liner so if you wanted to do a really heavy 90 liners lip lip liner look you can certainly do that, or if you want anything to kind of blend together seamlessly, you can pick the same color for both. And again, have the opacity slider giving us a ton of control over the final look of everything. Putzing around here again, trying to figure out which lips are right for me. And, um, yep, like I said, ended up picking the toothy smile and picked... I wanted to go with a neutral lip color so that I could change my outfit really easily if I wanted to. And that's just the colors I wear in real life. So I ended up going with this kind of peachy, peachy pink neutral. Turn the opacity down a little bit. And then um, same with the lip liner. And as we scroll a little bit lower here, you'll see you can also change... Um, the positioning of the lipstick so a lot of options there next is the jaw um, she is kind of a butt chin is what I call those ones right now and I just wanted to do more of a traditional round chin but there are a lot of cute options here as well and of course it's time for blush so I wanted to match my blush with the lip color just to kind of keep a cohesive look of neutral pink peach and I chose this one because it almost gives you like a chance to do a highlight above um, the blush so for the colors I ended up doing I matched the primary blush to my lips and then I think I do just one shade less for kind of the highlight to give it almost an ombre lifted type of feel to the blush and then you can do freckles and birthmarks. While I do love the birthmark she's wearing, it's giving Marilyn Monroe. Um, not something I wanted on my character. So I turned the opacity down, but you can actually just click it to um, remove it. So moving right along then to our next option, which was my favorite, is hair. And I already was loving the ponytail that she had. It's giving me Elsa vibes. Um, guys, there are so many beautiful hair options in this game. I was blown away. And they are all adorable. Everyone is going to find something that they love. I had a really hard time picking out of like three. Which one I like the most. This one was super pretty. Like Belle vibes for sure. And um... You just got to check them out. There's so many great ones. I really liked too. Like there's a short little curly pony. Yes, this one is super, super cute. And there's an Elsa braid. Kind of, sort of. I didn't really like the way it wisps to the side in the flower. Um, cute short hairs. I do end up ultimately going back to the curly pony. But I did really like this one currently that I'm wearing and there's a bigger foofier like Hollywood hair one yes this one this one I almost chose but I think it's just a hair too big for me but in real life I have really big hair like that and um, it's kind of how it looks but I just couldn't get over that pony and I did darken the blonde a little bit my hair is not quite like Elsa blonde and I do I had purple in my hair. I want to put it back. Um, but that was one of my favorite uh, like color pieces I've had in my hair. So I'm going to give her a little purple. And I wasn't quite feeling that purple. So I played around a little bit. 
and I think I ultimately decide on the darker purple it doesn't look that dark um, but it just gives her pony something extra cute and special and we're all about the purple here on the dangerous diva um, so we had to throw that purple in somewhere and they do have face paint options and facial hair but we're gonna move on to the outfit so again stunning stunning creation tool with the outfits so that touch of magic button you see at the top there actually allows you to take pretty much any piece you see here it'll start as a white blank canvas and you can put stamps on it color it um, you can essentially make custom outfits out of it so that is a really cool feature and you can use it on things like backpacks headpieces all that kind of stuff so I was just kind of looking through the dresses to see um, if I liked any they're all pretty formal under shirts they do have some really cute crop tops I loved this purple one and I already gave the spoiler away at the beginning of the video but this is ultimately um, the shirt that I do choose but I go ahead and try in a couple different things as well as some combinations just to see kind of how everything jives together and looks this one is also super super cute and yeah again tons of options here guys i don't think you're going to feel frustrated with the options as well I decided to look through the skirts to see if i wanted to do like a crop and skirt vibe um but i just wasn't really feeling any of these skirts as far as with that purple top that i decide on so i do go back to that top and then i decided to go ahead and try some pants and they have some really cute jeans and apparently you can wear the pants under the skirt which is kind of cute for people that want to be a little bit more modest um and looking through their cute shoes they have a lot of options i was looking for low top vibes like some white low tops didn't really find anything that tripped my trigger with that there's a few there, there's the black sneakers there couple other decent options but I just wasn't really feeling any of the tennis shoes so since it's fall and this is what I'm going to be wearing in real life here pretty soon I end up going with some cute brown boots which you'll see in just a minute here but yeah there are a ton of cute options under the shoes and I believe I choose the brown adventure boots yes yes girl slay and then um just looking through the pants again i believe i changed to some ripped jeans it's a little bit more me i really love these they're super super cute and i feel like they just go with the boots and the crop a lot better than those other pants they do have some other cute styles as well more of the athletic um but again go back to those ripped jeans girl because that's my vibe um, but yeah, there's dress pants, um, active wear, all kinds of stuff for you guys. And now I was trying to find, um, something to go over it just for a little bit more layering. I didn't really find anything in here I felt was super cute. Like, that's not bad, but it just wasn't really what I was looking for. And again, I could have gone in and created something custom but i felt that because their crop had sleeves it was cute enough on its own but if you're wanting to layer girl they got you all kinds of options in here for layering as well and some really really cute sweaters and jackets so i was a little bit sad i didn't ultimately find one that really worked with the vibe i was going for with the crop I think it would be easy to do if you had more of a plain shirt or maybe a cute dress like that little cottage dress with like the cardigan would be super cute and I could have totally gone in and made my own thing like I said um, but I don't know maybe I'll change my outfit up in the future because I do like the layered look but um, I go back in and just look at a few of the other tops to see if I'm willing to sacrifice the cute crop for the layered look and I do like that yellow and the black that's super cute 
but it just wasn't what I was looking for in this moment. So I'm trying a few more things, get really sad, and go back to my cute little purple crop. And it's just life, you know? I uh, actually recorded the character creation yesterday, so I'm kind of doing a voiceover here after the fact so pretty soon we'll be getting back to the purple crop but this is kind of a good way to show you guys there are a ton a ton of options in here and really you can make whatever the heck you want and it's not going to be hard to find something that's completely unique and not being wearing the same outfit as everybody else running around in dreamlight valley so I feel like Disney did a really great job with giving people options right out of the gate. And I'm all for us starting a petition to demand that every other game that creates a character tool in the future has to be as robust as Disney Dreamlight. It's just got to be a law, guys. We got to make it happen. <laughs> um, but yeah, back to the purple crop and looking through the jewelry now they have a lot of super cute earrings i wasn't sure if i was really feeling like a stud vibe because those are super cute they got the hoops girl got everything but i wanted something kind of unique and different and then i saw the purple ice shard earrings and they're kind of sassy kind of fun and that's really my vibe is kind of like a little edgy but not it's like edgy feminine i would say is my style or I don't do anything crazy, but I just like those little hints of edge. So I felt those fit perfectly. And I didn't really like the un any of the other ones after that. And for necklaces, unfortunately, with this crop, I could not layer. I was super sad because there's like a cute medallion piece. Yes, right there. Um, but they do have scarves, necklaces, all kinds of things. And oh my god, these backpacks are adorable. I had a really hard time picking one. I do like the white and pink mini one. It's super cute. I like Anna's purple artist satchel. I believe it's Anna's. Um, this off the shoulder is super cute. But if you scroll down, there's a purple like ice cream bag. And I just had to have it. It's super, super cute. Fits my color schemes. Got some teal in there. And um, I tried one more, but just was sold on the purple Eda bag. And then we go to, I believe, bracelets next. Let's see. Can I predict the future? Can I? Can I? Yes. <laughs> and there's some cute watches here. There's a silver and purple watch. I didn't even try the gold one. Actually, that one's cuter. But I really liked the star bangle. It was just super cute. And I was feeling it. And it was gold and it has a star and I just loved it so that was pretty much uh, it for me for the um, bracelets I don't see rings I don't think but it could be something that comes in the future they do have a couple costumes as well I didn't want to try it on in case it undid my outfit um, but they do have some cute jumpsuits in here and if you're looking more for like um, something more closer to a character you could try a costume in there and of course our name is diva so once you're done creating the character it brings you into the selfie tool and i believe everybody gets a different character when they do this um i got anna which is kind of funny because elsa is my favorite and i feel like you know i got that long blonde hair so this is me vibing with Anna taking some selfies. I don't believe you can choose who you get. I think it's just random. I'm not sure how it will be in the actual game. I'm assuming in the actual game you could be day. you'll be able to be by yourself or pick a character that you want to take pictures with. But this is just me cheesing with Anna trying out the different filters and all that type of thing. Um, so something else that's kind of cool, so obviously it saves your pictures, um, but you can get a QR code for each picture that you take, and then you can take your phone, take a picture of the QR code, and then save the image directly to your phone, or send it to somebody, or you could send somebody the QR code if you don't want to take the time to save the image 
and download it and then send it to them. But they have cute filters, just cute everything in here. All different options for poses and facial expressions. So I was just taking a bunch of different click clicks with uh, Anna here and I really liked that purple star one. And the sepia one is cute too. And it saves them all in the gallery for you, which is so, so cute. And last but not least, guys, a final look at the outfit and avatar of Dangerous Diva. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it gave you a better look into the creation tool within Dreamlight Valley. I think it's amazing. I want to see something like this in other games, upcoming games, and I can't wait to see what more Disney adds to this because I think it's a great jump off point. Again, this is the standalone avatar creation tool. It's free. I'll have it linked down below for you guys, and then you'll be able to import your character into the game tomorrow if you decide to buy it or if you just want to create a character and have fun um, if you don't plan on buying the game it's still fun to go in and create a character but this is diva signing out wishing you guys the best day the best week i appreciate you watching and stay tuned for more dreamlight valley content bye guys